Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, hope everybody had a decent Monday. I uh, wanted to hop on and just do a quick market update uh, on what happened today. Uh, the title of yesterday's video was uh, Big Tech Rally, and there was a question mark behind it because we did have some, um, we closed at resistance uh, right here on Friday, and we had a reason to, you know, to pause. Um, so what happened today is we absolutely got the rip um, that the market needed or that we were going to get today. I didn't, you know, I saw a rally coming. I didn't think it was going to be uh, one that led us to 4,500 today. I thought maybe 4,550 was um, was possible, but, I, you know, I didn't see 4,500 coming, but it came. Uh, and everything kind of, you know, played out the way yesterday's video described it. Uh, you know, and on days like this, it's very tough to trade. I know, you know, half of you were in complete shock, uh, you know, but I've said it, you know, days and days now. I said when the selling is over, um, we're going to get a rip so hard that, you know, you're not you're not going to believe it. You know, so people, you know, they were they, they had their feet stuck in the mud and they had hesitancy. And that's normal. It's completely normal. You know, you, you're bearish for, you know, two or three weeks and, and then you see, uh, you know, a, a big green bar like this on the hourly. And if you remember yesterday, I said I was specifically watching the hourly uh, time frame on SPX. Uh, so you get open right here at 6, 630, uh, and it just rips. You know, you get one test of the ADMA, and that was it the entire day. Um, so if you were long and went back to sleep, uh, you made a ton of money. Uh, you got some selling off into the end of the day, but that's expected, you know, on an 80-point day on uh, on SPX. So NQ, the exact same thing. Watch the hourly. Uh, broke, came back, retested. Uh, what is that? 4 a.m., you know, uh, the the overnight session. And just completely ripped. So, you know, things that um, that I watch just all day is just the hourly. I watch the hourly. SPX, again, it was very intentional. It was very specific. And let's just look at some of the levels uh, that big tech went through um, and where I think it's where I think it's headed next. So uh, we got the double uh, we got the GP hold um, last week and then we just shot up on Friday. And here we are uh, 175. I remember I mapped out those levels. Uh, 170, 175, and then 180. Tesla, uh, it was clear as day what was going to happen uh, if this channel held, and it did hold another 80 point day on Tesla. So I mentioned the last time we we tested these uh, lower uh, trend lines. Um, you know, I got a 120 point day here, 230 point day here, and and yesterday was a, you know, I'm sorry today, depending on where you are when this video comes out. You know, another 150 point day off of the bottom of the of the channel. So these things are very technical and they're to the penny. You know, these things, you know, it's not it's not by accident. Uh, it's all algos. It's all programmed. Uh, and you just have to play the levels. You know, these are, you know, very easy outs. You know, we lose the channel and you cut the trade. But you hop in Monday and if you if you uh, just have a, a, a tiny bit of conviction, uh, you just let the, you know, let the long the long plays go. And let them let them play out how they're how they're going to play out. So, uh, Nvidia, another one to watch heading into the week. Uh, it does look like it wants 250, and maybe eventually the golden pocket. Um, Facebook, same thing. Uh, yesterday I said I want to I want to catch this move here. Do something like that, and just test the upper trend line. That's all I wanted. Uh, took some of that today. Took a lot of profit on that today, uh, and I have a couple runners going um I, I was all over the board today it was it was you know you don't get many days like this when when consolidation comes and you get uh you know where everything is ripping everything ripped today uh, you could have literally bought calls and went to sleep and woke up in profit uh same thing with microsoft um expecting a move to the golden pocket you know halfway there from where we closed yesterday or uh, last week so you know my outlook for tomorrow um, you know, it, obviously we play it day to day, uh, as long as the ADMA holds in the hourly, I don't, you know, there's no reason to be, to be short. So, you know, we're coming right into it, um, aftermarket, uh, in the aftermarket session. So, uh, you know, just something to keep an eye on. Um, most of my positions are runners. So, you know, just looking for new entries, whether they be to the upside or the downside. Uh, this was picture perfect. Once it broke through. I always talk about volume. 
uh, and and it just kept running. We got a test of the ADMA. Um, there was there was no reason to to be in, out of any trades. Uh, not out of Apple. Not out of Tesla. Not out of Nvidia. None of them. None of them gave you a reason today to uh, to trade. Look how far away they are from the ADMA. You know, you get in and open. You get in on volume. And you let the chart play out how it's going to play out. So uh, we'll have some fun tomorrow. Uh, won't be live. Uh, probably won't be live again until Wednesday, uh, maybe Thursday. But uh, some levels to look for. Uh, you can draw a fib here on the hourly SPX. Looks like the 0.236 is holding right now. We'll see what it looks like in the morning. Maybe we retrace to the golden pocket if we do lose the ADMA. That's typically what happens with SPX, so that's something to look for. Uh, remember the 0.236 is very bullish, 0.382 is bullish, and the 0.5 is the last line in the sand before we hit the golden pocket. That's typically what happens. It doesn't happen every time, but that's usually a good indication of what's going to happen, which would you know likely be a back test of the breakout zone. So uh, again, fun week ahead. Lots of good stuff. Um, Stay safe out there. I'll uh, see you guys next time.